Welcome to Avignon, a historic city in the heart of Provence in the south of France. Former home of the Popes and now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's take a look. Before we get into the top 10, here is a very brief intro about the city. The history of the city stretches back into antiquity. At one time a Greek trading post, it then came under control of the Roman Empire. During the Middle Ages the city changed hands many times, before eventually becoming the seat of the papacy between 1309 to 1377. Seven popes and two anti-popes resided in the city during these times, and it is this legacy that has left its mark on Avignon, with the sprawling palace of the popes. Papal control persisted until the French Revolution. In modern times, Avignon has a population of about 90,000 people in the city, rising to over 300,000 in the metropolitan area. Avignon's unique history makes it a major tourist destination, with about 4 million visitors annually. So let's take a look at the top 10 things to see. The most important site in Avignon is the Palace of the Popes. This huge medieval building was constructed in the 14th century, and became one of the most important buildings in Europe when Pope Clement V moved the papal court to Avignon from Rome. Seven popes and two anti-popes resided in the palace. Today it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In total there are more than 20 rooms open to the public. Although most of the original furnishings have long disappeared, the interior is still worth visiting to see the huge scale of the rooms. There are too many to talk about, so here are some highlights. Next to the palace is the cathedral. This mostly Romanesque building was constructed in the 12th century, although, like most medieval cathedrals, work continued for centuries afterwards. The original tower collapsed and was rebuilt in 1425 and is surmounted by a gilded statue. The interior is small compared to many of the great medieval cathedrals of France, however its dimensions still give it a lofty feeling. Inside there are many notable artefacts including the tomb of a pope as well as paintings and statues so make sure you spend some time having a good look around. The cathedral sits next to a large ornate park known as the Rocher des Dons. This pleasant garden has a cafe, lake and many statues to admire. However, the main reason to leg it up here is to wander around the various paths and plazas to take in the extensive panoramic views. From here you can look over the city and the amazing countryside of Provence. Avignon's most recognisable landmark is the Pont saint Benizé, also known as the Pont d'Avignon. This medieval bridge was built in the 13th century to replace an older wooden bridge. It originally had 22 stone arches and would have measured around 900 metres. It provided an essential crossing of the Rhone River. It eventually fell into disrepair and the section was swept away by a flood in 1669. Deterioration continued and now only four of the arches remain intact. Despite this, the remaining structure is incredibly impressive and can be visited allowing nice views along the river. There is even a small chapel built into the bridge. Our next location is across the river. You can reach the Ile de Piot by crossing the modern Pont Edouard de Ladier, which is a bridge. 
On the far side, it might not be obvious, but you're actually stood on a large island between two branches of the river. The main reason to cross over is to take in these amazing views of Avignon. It's an especially good place to get great shots of the bridge. Heading back across to the city, you will notice the extensive walls, which are some of the best preserved medieval fortifications in the world, and still encircle the entire historic core of the city. There are 39 impressive towers and multiple gates in and out. Although it's not possible to walk on the walls, you can walk almost the entire length of them, both inside and outside of the old town. Inside the walls, you will find the old town of Avignon. The tight streets are packed with interesting historic buildings, plazas and alleys. You will find it a joy to wander around and get lost in. Here are some highlights. Avignon's famous food hall is unmissable, especially as it appears to have a garden growing on the side of it. Bit strange, but you know, it's cool. This modern building is open most days, and inside you will find plenty of really tasty food. We bought pastries and a quiche which were yummy. Avignon has many notable churches, but perhaps the most interesting is the Basilica of Saint-Pierre. The current building was constructed between 1358 and 1524 in the Gothic style. The interior is small and peaceful and is a nice place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Inside you will find many fascinating paintings, frescoes and ornaments. Our final destination is the Yang Langdon Museum. Located in a former hotel, this small gallery contains the collection of a wealthy fashion designer, Jacques Doucet. The museum was established in 1996. Although small, it contains a great collection of artworks from famous artists such as Picasso, Degas and Manet. Perhaps the most famous painting is the Pink Blouse by Mogdigliani. The collection is housed in a historic building and also contains furniture, sculptures and many other interesting items. Nearby is the Calvert Museum, which contains an even bigger collection of art and artefacts. Unfortunately, it was closed when I visited, but I don't think a guide to Avignon would be complete without at least mentioning it. That's it for my top 10 places to visit in Avignon. Many thanks if you have made it this far. Let me know in the comments below if you disagree with my 10 picks. I hope you have a great day. Cheerio!